she it's only news because she responded, Isaac. I personally think had she not said anything, nobody would have like cared or paid it. No, never mind. But I guess she felt like she had a responsibility to say something. All right. So as we all know, past summer uh, Olympics. She carries, she gets banned for taking marijuana. And they say, hey, you cannot compete in the, this year's Olympics and so forth until I want to say uh, another summer trial or something like that. But she got banned for smoking weed, said she did it because her mom had just passed. She just found that out, going through a lot. She did that, made that choice, and so on and so forth, right? So it has now came out that Camilla, Camilla Vilieva, who is a 15-year-old Russian figure skater, recently tested, no, not even recently, tested positive for a banned drug back in December, right? So she tests positive for this drug. The uh, uh, International Olympic Committee say, all right, you know, rules are rules. You're suspended. You can't compete. But the International Olympic Committee ruling to suspend her was overruled by the by the uh, Court of Arbitration for Sports. They said, no, you actually can, you actually can compete. So you would say, okay, well, why does she get to compete or whatever the case may be? So this, for the um, Camilla chick, again, she's a 15 year old Russian figure skater. She basically confused her medicine with her grandfather's medication. That's her claim. She confused her medication with her grandfather's medication. Her medication is used for chest pain, but she took her father's medication, which is for heart problems. And his medication uh, is known to give athletes a performance enhancement. So because of that reason, that is, that is why I ain't, I ain't done yet, bro. So because of that reason, that is why the International Olympic Committee, that's her reasoning for being caught uh, testing positive for an illegal banned substance. And again, she, she uh, took this test back in December, but it's just not coming out now uh, that she failed the drug test. So you also, have, again, the International Olympic Committee over, they said she couldn't compete, but the Court of Arbitration of Sports said she could play. So the Olympic Committee was just like, hey, even if you compete until the, investigate, until the investigation is completely final and done or whatever, even if you do compete, if you place in the top three, we are not going to award you with a gold, silver, or bronze medal. Um, then this that's going on. Shakira comes out of the woodworks and say, "Oh, well, the only reason they letting her play, the only difference in why they letting her compete, um, as opposed to not letting me compete, is because she ain't black like I am, and that's why they just deciding that it's all right, fine and dandy for her to compete." So, <laughs> so sedacious, you go. I see the smirk. You go. You go first. Um, <clears throat> honestly, man, I, I hate to sound coonish. But it's Christian's last night. That's fine. That's fine. At this, at this point, um, it's not going to change. So putting your energy into it being messed up instead of putting your energy into overcoming like our people do, I feel like it's, it's, it's a waste of time at this point. You know what I mean? Honestly. You know what I mean? But, you know, and I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't want to feel like I'm I'm bashing the people who still want to protest, who still want to who want to make an outcry. You know what I'm saying? You definitely do your thing, but for me and mine, it's just like you know what I'm saying. Just work twice as hard because we know we got to. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because you don't want to die, and just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. I'm gonna say it like this. Where is that young lady from? Russia. Now, okay, this is even better. That's what you call Ooh. a country supporting their athlete. I felt like due to your wording, it was an investigation. There was no investigation, in my opinion, as far as when it came to Shakira, whether it was or not. 
They said there goes a publicly known uh, American bad drug, uh, yeah, American bad drug, and we're going to persecute her as if it's still a universally known, uh, uh, um, sorry, a countrywide known bad drug. We don't care about the state. We're going to treat it that way. Why? For whatever reason, we are American. Okay. And I looked at it like just how they had the investigation to see about the pills and everything to get that resolved. America could have gave lawyers for this for Shakari to do the same exact thing. They could have gave her lawyers say, hey, in this state is this, it's that, and we need to support that. And we need to find every little loophole we can to do that. They didn't do that for Shakari. They put her on blast on on uh on news and said, hey, what's your explanation? This young lady got a chance to actually get, I feel sure there were lawyers involved. There were investigations to find the pills and prove this and that. And I feel like Russia was behind that young lady. America was not behind Shakari. And that's all I got to say about that.